And we're here at the National Space Centre in Leicester. We've just been having a look at uh, some rockets. We went on a lift, but we're not allowed on level two because that's for trainee astronauts only. If you want to have a chance of being a trainee astronaut, this is what you need to have. First, you need a basic degree in engineering, science, medicine or maths. If you have a postgraduate degree, it's better, but you don't have to. Then you have to have three years experience in postgraduate research or in a related professional job. After that, you need to have, be able to speak English and read it very well. If you have another language or more languages after that, it's better. You have to be highly motivated, flexible and out, have an outgoing personality. Be a good team worker. Be emotionally stable with no depression or aggressiveness. You have to have a good reasoning capability, a good memory, good concentration, good spatial awareness and good manual dexterity. You have to have a generally good level of fitness with blood pressure no higher than 140 over 90. You have to be between 153 to 190 centimeters tall for European astronauts, 149 to 193 centimeters tall for American NASA mission specialists, or 162 to 193 centimeters tall to be a NASA pilot astronaut. You need to have a minimum of 1,000 hours of experience flying a jet aircraft to be a NASA pilot astronaut. And you need a good but not perfect eyesight, no worse than 2100, correctable to 2020 uh, for European astronauts, and 2050 vision, correctable to 2020 for NASA pilot astronauts. So if you young people really do want to be an astronaut, first thing you need to do is get good GCSE results, then good A-level results, and then get, get yourself a good engineering, science, medicine or maths degree. And I hope you succeed. Bye-bye.